No, we're going shark diving with Emerald Charters. Where at? In Jupiter, Florida. All right. When shark diving in Jupiter, it's required to be covered in black. Wetsuit, hood, fins, anything you can think of. This is because any off colors might be mistaken for torn flesh by the sharks. So don't show up to the dive unprepared. During the dive, we used two different GoPros. Laura used her GoPro Hero 6 with no red filters, and later you'll see my GoPro Hero 9 with red filters. The first dive of the day is a drift dive over a deep coral reef. We're near the Gulf Stream, so the current is absolutely steaming, which also brings in some pretty cool sharks. Although it's hard for me to tell exactly, most of these sharks are either sand sharks, sandbar sharks, dusky sharks, or silky sharks. They're the usual suspects on this first dive. As we switch to my view on my GoPro Hero 9, you'll instantly notice the difference in blue color and other colors with the red filter attached. This goes to the importance as to why you should always dive with a red filter. Your videos are going to be much more vibrant at the end of the day. And as with any drift diving in South Florida, you'll be greeted by the boat at the end of the dive picking you up wherever you are. A lot of the times during the dive, the dive master will actually pick up a nice shark tooth and give it to you. Nick, what are you trying to catch? All jokes aside, the crew actually needs to catch a bunch of different fish to chum up the waters to draw in the sharks. On dive number two, depending on the time of year, you might be treated by a visit from one of the local tiger sharks named Patrick. If you haven't noticed yet, what causes the sharks to come in is that milk crate full of chum. They smell the blood, but more importantly, the dive master is creating noise by banging two sticks together and using a quacker. This signals vibrations in the water and causes the sharks to go into a frenzy as if something was just killed and they're about to go pick up the leftovers. <laughs> to 
despite everything happening around you, it's important to keep monitoring your air. There's a reason why this is an advanced only and Nitrox only certified dive. You need to know what you're doing to stay safe. And more importantly, if you don't listen to the dive master, you might get this reaction from Josh. <laughs> We just wrapped up right before the dive two of the day. We finally saw a tiger shark. A big old boy named Patrick. So we got some really, really good video on it. So, posted soon. And we're just at lunch and they're going to jump in for dive number three. Be on the shipwreck again, the same spot that we just were. And hopefully, we'll get some good video and photos of a big old tiger shark. Depending on the day, the second dive and the third dive will both be at the same location, usually a shipwreck, either the Jupiter Wreck Trek or another ship in the area. There's always a lot going on between the Goliath grouper trying to steal a snack, the lemon shark circling your head, the nurse sharks down below, and don't forget that massive tiger shark that will come face to face with you on more than one occasion. shark is swimming directly at you and it doesn't look like it's going to stop, you're actually taught to just give it a small tap on the head. What this does is redirect the shark. In order for sharks to breathe, they need water running over their gills and when you boop it in the head and redirect them, it's almost like you take their breath away. They think, what the hell, shake it off, go the other way and leave you alone. Honestly, I must say, my favorite part is being on the surface and looking down and seeing a swarm of sharks all around the boat, all around you. It's something truly crazy that you would never do anywhere else. Shark diving is one thing, but another thing in Jupiter is the beauty. It's got cool lighthouses, beautiful waterways, and plenty of outdoor activities to do. It's a great
great place to spend the day after you're done shark diving.